All right, welcome back. I just realized, okay, I just, I must have not slept again. I hear, there he is, there he is, there he is. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang uh, on. It's fine, it's fine. Nothing, it's totally gonna be fine. Oh my goodness, I was prepping to get ready and I heard that guy. Do I have a bed in my pocket? I do have a bed in my pocket. Whew, that could have been, uh, that could have been bad. I was sitting here getting ready. I was in like F5 mode, ready to, to start the episode. And then I just hear the screeching of death upon me so anyway welcome to uh day 16 of minecraft survival uh yesterday we caved for hours the video ended up being an hour and 36 minute long an hour and 36 minutes long it was it was very very long uh so i spent a ton of time caving i ended up with 73 diamonds out of that cave which was super awesome uh tons of iron stacks on stacks on stacks of iron and, uh, I hear this guy burning. Oh, you know what? Actually, where did he burn? Because I know you can get those... What are those things that you pick up from him? It sounded like he burned over here. And I know that you... I know that there's stuff that they drop, but I just haven't been brave enough to try to kill any of them yet. And yesterday was the first time that I ever accidentally didn't sleep. So, it was the first time I'd even seen one, uh, recently. I don't... I don't see where he died. It sounded like he was off in this direction, didn't it? I don't know. Maybe I'll come across his his stuff as I walk around. I'm not sure. But after getting all that stuff yesterday, I'm I feel a lot better about just where I'm at in terms of in terms of supplies. I don't feel poor anymore. I feel like I've got a, a decent amount of stuff. Uh, I mean, cause cause look at this. So. Let me think. So nothing that we grabbed would have been in there. I think pretty much everything would have been just ore, basically. So I got all these diamonds. Uh, I don't think I picked up any emeralds. We got all this iron now, a couple of stacks of gold, uh, a lot more redstone. And actually, this is why I was thinking there was another chest that some of it would have been in, is because now I got a ton of lapis, too, for enchanting purposes. So this is it. We're in great shape. I'm doing great right now. I feel very good. And uh, so today I'm going to I'm going to stay by the house a little bit today. Just uh, it's just going to be a more chill day today. And uh, I've got a few things that I want to do. For one, I started uh, pulling down this hill over here. That's where all that dirt came from. And I've got a full double chest of dirt at this point. So that's crazy. So I started pulling that down uh, because I want to, to get that hill out of the way. Obviously, we used to have a hill here. And so I'm thinking maybe what I should do is, let me look at my potions. I need more potions. But maybe what I should do real fast is head into the nether and uh, just get some quartz so I can get myself all the way up to uh, to level 30. And then I want to try and enchant a shovel. Because what we really can do at this point is I can, I can get all diamond stuff. It's just a matter of getting good enchants on it. So let's do this real fast. Uh, how do you make... How do you make an armor stand? I don't know how to make one. I think it's just wood and sticks. Oh, it's a smooth stone slab and sticks. Okay, so I've already got... Don't I already have smooth stone over here? Because I'm not going to put on my diamond armor yet. Because what I really want is to be able to... Uh, is to be able to get mending on, on everything before I utilize it. I feel like it's kind of silly with diamond stuff to, to really use it unless you have mending on it. So, I feel like, uh, I, I'd, well, I guess it's not necessarily silly, but it's just, I would prefer not to. So, because of that, I, I need to get mending on everything, so I, w I at least want to craft it all. And, uh, and, and then I can basically just set it on the armor stand, and it'll be available for me when the time comes. And how did I see that this was, was done? Oh, like that, okay. Alright, so where, where should this puppy be at? Uh, let me think. I mean, I guess I could always stick it here instead because I don't love that anvil sitting there. But let's do this. So I, I kind of want to get the walls on the house today as well. But let's just, I guess, set it. Let's set it. Oh, you can't set it at an angle. I thought you could set it at an angle. How do you? There we go. Uh, you can. Okay. But that actually, now that I look at it, since that's so close to it, that looks a bit weird. So I don't think I'm going to do that. Uh, maybe let's just go, well, we'll just set it right next to it for now. Cool. So let's make a few diamond things, uh, really all the diamond things. So I'm going to make, start with a chest just that way it's available. Boom. 
pop that bad boy on there. This is the richest, like I said yesterday, this is the richest I have ever been in this game because I've never, never played consistently enough to actually get a bunch of good stuff and just have all the things that my heart could ever want. So this is actually amazing for me. Even just the fact that I'm going to have a full diamond suit in survival. Boom. All right. So full diamond suit. Uh, I also want to make, so I've got this pick, obviously like this is probably the pick that I'll stay with for ever. I mean, I know that there's probably some other good things I can get, but I feel like this is like the dream pick right here. I mean, I've got, uh, I'm breaking three. And also I just realized my, uh, let me move myself over here. That's not where I, it's not where I wanted myself. Uh, so it's got unbreaking three and mending. Obviously the unbreaking isn't super useful because of the mending, but then the fortune three efficiency four. I feel like there's not really anything else I would want on that. But in terms of my sword, I'm definitely going to want a different sword. Uh, so I, cause I, there's much better enchantments I could get than, than that. I mean, that's pretty much just trash in my opinion. So I'm going to, I'm going to need a new sword. So I'll have that ready for enchanting. And can't you, you can put this, can't you put that? Yeah, you can put it in his hand. Uh, but then the other things I'm going to want are, like I said, I want to try to enchant a shovel today. Uh, and then, like I said, we've already got the pick. So then let's do, I think an ax I'm also going to want. And then I, I mean, I have the equipment. You can't put two in his hand, right? Oh, okay. It just swaps. I have the equipment to be able to make a diamond hoe as well. So I I guess, or not the equipment, but the, the resources. So I guess we'll do a diamond hoe also. So then I guess over here, I'll pop this extra stuff. Oh, and I also have another partial shovel here. So pop this extra stuff in here. Uh, Cause that means I've got this on me for my pick. The sword is in his hand. Once I get that enchanted ax, shovel and hoe. Cool. So then I don't think I can't think of anything else specifically that I want right now. So I've got like 44 spare diamonds at the moment. And uh, also I got, I started clearing out a little bit more sand over here. Cause what I, what I mentioned the other day is that I'm thinking that the, this beach area, I'm going to want to be one lower, one level lower than this, meaning that it'll be right at this level. So I started uh, pulling some of that down, not because I need it cleared right now, but just because since I'd like to work on some of the walls on the house today, I need a lot of glass because I want to do big windows in the house, uh, is, is something that I've been thinking will look kind of cool because I just feel like doing a whole bunch of, of just dark Oak in the, in the walls, I don't think is going to look nice. So I'm thinking that we'll, we'll do relatively large windows, on all four sides. And of course there's going to be some sort of grand entrance at the front that I'm still kind of trying to work out. Uh, and let me see. So I've got plenty, plenty of coal right now. And really though, when it comes down to it, it's not actually plenty. I feel like coal is something that I, I'm just ripping through two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I want to do that whole stack. Uh, it really stinks that you have to use a regular furnace, uh, to smelt sand into glass. I think it's kind of dumb. But then I also, I already have a couple stacks of glass, so this will really just be extra. So what I'm going to do right now, I think, is I'm going to go ahead and take this. I can leave this in here. Uh, and then I have run out of space for dirt. I feel like I don't really need any more than two, than a double chest of dirt, right? So I can probably just let that despawn. So we've got the full diamond set. Pretty snazzy, pretty nice. And I think what I'm going to do right now, like I said, is go into the nether and, uh, and get some quartz because I want to get to level 30 to do some of this enchanting uh, before I work on some other stuff. And also this bell, oops, this bell is not going to stay here. As I mentioned the other day when I put it up there, why does it never work? Like, why can't I, it doesn't, there we go. I don't know why it's like you have to hit it at a certain angle. So yeah, I just want to go in here and just get, get quartz basically. Uh, not because I need a ton of quartz, at the moment, I am going to need a ton of quartz, but not that I need a ton at the moment, but mostly just because I want these levels. Also, I really should, you know what, here's what maybe I can do. I might as well head down into this lower section that I created, uh, where, where we went way down to like level, whatever it was for ancient Deborah. And just as I go through here, I'll grab quartz because then it, once I get down to the lower portion, I'm going to sneeze, <coughs> excuse me. 
Once I get down to the lower portion, then I can also be getting Ancient Debra at the same time. Because uh, I'm going to need that too, and that's something that I sort of put off the other day after I like came in here and, and died in that bastion. And it's interesting that all these stayed rendered. Uh, like, all these blocks that I broke. Oh, I think it just despawned right there. Uh, yeah, so, like, I put that off the other day once I ended up dying. I was just like, ah, you know what? I just, I I'm gonna need to go get resources. So, that's what I did, is went and got all the extra resources that I need. But now that I've got that stuff, I feel like if I get Quartz and, uh, more Ancient Deborah all in, all at once, all in one trip, then, uh then that would be that'd be pretty smart we'll be we'll be cooking with gas then it'll, it'll be we'll be being super productive and the thing is though i don't remember exactly where what level was it that i was on because i can't remember what level i i said i found out that ancient deborah is found on so i don't remember how far down i came but this is also nice getting quartz because of the fact that it'll just it'll keep my pick nice and nice and fresh nice and mended Oh yeah, so this, I think this led all the way out to, let's see, let's go check real fast. I think it led out to the area where I initially came from. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, that's right. So this here was where I initially started digging into the wall. Was there anything else down here that I cared about? I don't, I don't think that there was. So let me just, let me just grab the quartz that I see. And then that hallway that we just saw a second ago, that massive hallway... Uh, that was where I was I was mining for uh, for netherite, uh, and I think I decided all of this was pretty much a dead end. Yeah, I don't even know where I came from from here. I think I'd just been maybe running. I'd been running through the world looking for a good spot and came down here probably to drop down somewhere, and then I just decided to stay. I decided it was home. Okay, so right here is where I want to be. I can honestly just block this off i don't really ever need to get out this way again i don't think uh because then here is where i was mining at and i think that all of this yeah i was basically just digging digging tunnels because the thing is i know that it can be helpful to utilize beds and tnt and stuff like that when you're looking for for netherite but the thing for me is just since since natural regen is off it feels like, it feels like I'm, I'm, until I have, like, really good diamond armor, it feels like blowing anything up in my vicinity is not a smart decision. So, I feel like it would be best to not use beds in TNT, uh, as I, as I do netherite hunting. So, I feel like I'm gonna kind of avoid that and just do what I was doing. I mean, now that I have this pick, I can basically just, like I said, like, machine gun pick like that. And fly through everything. Obviously, it's not great for durability, but I don't think it's a big deal because then I can just, if if I'm starting to get nervous about durability, I can just go mine quartz and we'll be totally fine. And wait, before I go this way, I wanted to, there was still more quartz underneath there, I think. Hello, pigman. How you doing, my friend? I hope you're doing well. Oh, yeah. And so this, the fortune obviously is going to work on the quartz, so... This is, it's going to definitely make quartz, quartz gathering a good bit easier, so that's nice. And uh, gold nugget gathering. Not that I really need to be gathering gold nuggets in here because of the fact that, can you, can you please, personal space, uh, because of the fact that I've got so much gold now, I can just turn that into nuggets for glistering melon. Oh, there's some ancient Deborah right here. Look at that. So that should be, I should have all the ancient debris I need now. Uh, to be able to turn this pick into netherite. But the only thing is, I still don't know about utilizing a template. So I'm going to have to Google that and figure that out. Because, like I was saying the other day, I didn't realize that you needed four uh, netherite scrap to be able to... Wait, we're at like level 10. Yeah, so it seems like level like 10 to 15 is where, where netherite spawns, or ancient debris spawns. But yeah, the other day I didn't realize when I was uh, gathering stuff, that you need four netherite scrap per netherite ingot. So, because of that, I didn't I didn't have enough in the first place, but then I was thinking about the, the template, and so I, I think I think you have to have a template, too, so I'm going to have to, I'm most likely going to have to go to the Bastion anyway, which I'm not looking forward to, obviously, and honestly, I'll probably take 
stuff that I don't care about to the Bastion. I, I'll probably not even take my pick. I'll probably not take... I mean, even though there's a crappy diamond sword, I probably won't even take that. Just because if I end up dying again, I would rather not have anything useful on me whatsoever. Anything anything that is is not easily replaceable, I would like to not have on me on that trip. Because the other day, we all know what happened. It was, it was not a good time. Everything fell apart. And I fell... A brute just punched me in the face right off the edge, fell in lava, and I, I lost everything. And luckily, it wasn't that big of a deal because it wasn't anything I cared that much about. But if it would have been, I would have been pissed. Can you imagine if I would have had all this stuff on me? Like my my newer stuff, specifically this pick. If I, if I were to lose this pick, I would be the saddest pumpkin you've ever seen before. And I'm not really finding much else here. I'm just machine gunning through here and... I'm not really seeing much more ancient Deborah. I mean, I know it's super, super rare, but let me grab this too. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep going through and kind of searching for for more netherite as well as uh, as well as just mining quartz. And I'm going to keep working towards 30 levels. And uh, then once I do one of those two things and and something special happens, I will check back with you. So I'll talk to you soon. So I've got a little bit of netherrack on me right now, nothing major, just a little bit, but look at all the gold nuggets I've got, got a couple stacks of quartz, and uh, I was mining over here grabbing uh, more gold nuggets, and there's an ancient debris right here, it was just right under my feet, I didn't even see it at first, so that means I've got th three, three on, yeah, so I've got three on me now, I think I've also, I think it's three that I have at home, so uh, a little bit of quick math, that means I've got six, just helping you out there. Uh, and so that means that, uh, ooh, look at that, more right here. This is actually working really well, just machine gun picking through everything, rather than, than, uh, honestly, I think that this is actually faster than utilizing beds or TNT, because, like I said, not only do I feel like I run the risk of accidentally killing myself with beds and TNT, but I've always noticed when I've gone with that method, you end up with a ton of fire everywhere, so then you gotta, then you gotta, uh, like, punch all the fires out. And then you end up with a hole, so then you gotta make a bridge across to the, the next spot so that you're still at the right level. Like, I just think this is way faster. And see, my pick is not taking, like, any damage because of the fact that even after I do all of this, break a ton of nether rack, then I end up, then I end up just grabbing quartz anyway. And it's all healed up. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. So I think this is actually working really, really well doing it this way. And I've just been kind of going through and, like, clearing out this whole level for the most part. Uh, I don't know where my initial tunnel was. I'm not concerned about it right now. We'll f we'll find it eventually. And I know what I mean. I know how to get back to the the portal, regardless. So if I never really find exactly where my tunnel was, I can always just dig back up. But I guess I'm just gonna keep doing this for a little bit. And uh, yeah, and then see. So I've I've used some durability, find some quartz. And I don't know how much do you have to get for it to get your durability back up. Let's see. Uh, oh yeah, and see this is the problem because of all the nether rack. I keep ending up totally full and uh and then i've got to make blocks out of my quartz and stuff and i mean i don't need all this netherrack but i figure why not pick some of it up you know and then yeah see so my pick is is largely back to full so what a what a beautiful thing what a beautiful thing all right so i'm gonna keep just flying through here for a little bit uh keep getting some some netherrack and then i'm also gonna google the whole thing about if i need a template for netherite stuff so talk to you soon there we go. Found another one. This is pff, this is easy. I should nerf myself. This is pff, Minecraft is an easy game. Okay, uh, just totally disregard all the times that I've said that the game is pissing me off because of how many times I've died. Totally disregard all that. It's an easy game. But in all seriousness, I feel like once you start to get like I, I I've talked a little bit about the fact that I feel like there was a period there for a few years i can't really point to exactly when it was uh because i mean the game's been around long enough now to where some of it sort of all like like mushes together but i ooh, that's dangerous i don't like that uh but i've i've seen or i feel like there was a period for a while where the game did get relatively easy 
Uh, and I think part of it was just because, like, everybody had gotten used to the way that it worked, all the mechanics and stuff. So as new stuff got added, it's kind of like, okay, this is challenging again. And I feel like it's at a spot now where, especially the Nether, can be ridiculously annoying in terms of difficulty. Uh, and just get grindy and all that. But I feel like once you get good tools and stuff, and you start to get resources, you can definitely... Like, I'm definitely feeling a lot better about life at this point. And, like, I'm actually making progress and getting useful things. So, I'm feeling I'm feeling a lot better about things the past couple of days. Uh, I don't know where I want to go next. Like I said, I'm really just kind of clear-cutting this entire level here, since this is where I'm finding the debris. And it seems like the, the best spot, like, the best spot seems to be right at about Y12, which makes sense, considering that I've said that between Y10 and Y15, so sort of in the middle of that, seems to be the best spot. Oh yeah, and by the way, so watch this. So let me see if this if this vein of quartz will do it. A second ago, right after I stopped recording, the pick was all the way back to full. Okay, not quite. But I mean you can you you know how it works. But it just it's so exciting to me. I feel so special. I feel so so powerful with this pick. And seeing it repair itself constantly just feels so good. Uh wait, so what am I at now? So I'm at six. So, the reason why I feel like, I mean, I don't really need more right now, but because of the fact that I want to get mending on all of my diamond stuff anyway, I also want it all to be netherite, so it kind of feels like, while I've got the time, I might as well do some of this. Uh, but when I really think about it, looking at the looking at the clock, I don't really have the time, because I should probably go do some other stuff, uh, so that this isn't all I do today. But look, more ancient debris. Is that seven? That is seven, so then I've got ten in total. Uh, so let me, I'm going to go a little bit longer, maybe get to the point where I have enough stuff to make a few different things netherite, and uh, and then then maybe I'll, I'll head back to the surface. Found another one, look at that. I feel like I, I keep stopping my recording for a couple of seconds, like most times it's been like 10-15 seconds. And then, boom, it's like, it's right there. This is so much faster. And another one right there. Look at that. Look at how close they were to each other. They're best friends. Bestest of friends. All right, nine. Something else that I forgot, though, was I was saying that once I got to a certain amount, maybe I'd go back to the surface. But I, I forgot that my whole intention was to get the levels, to get to level 30. And I'm not there yet. So I, I don't want to go back until my initial mission is complete. Look at that. Another one. This is amazing. Don't mind if I do. And there's there's been a couple spots here and there. I, I think the, the most I found was three in one vein, but that there have been multiple spots where it's been more than one, which is kind of nice. But it seems like because of how fast this pick goes through everything, even when I'm just finding one at a time, I'm progressing with, with the amount that I'm getting relatively quickly. This isn't a super, super painful process, I feel like. Uh, so I don't... I don't mind this too much. It's not taking that long. Oh, does this... Look at this. This comes right back to... Wasn't this where I... Yeah, this gets back to my initial starting place. Uh, oh, but and you know what? I'm actually going to come back in here because... So that was lower than where I am here because I'm at Y15. So... But I feel like I'm finding more at that lower level. So maybe Y15 is not where I should be. Maybe I should go down to where I was at like Y10 and start to clear cut this area too. Because I was thinking initially, I'm just, I'm kind of learning as I go here. I was thinking initially, oh yeah, and then this gets right back. Perfect. All right, so let's just do like some of this stuff underneath where I was before and I'll just keep clear cutting. But yeah, that's still my my main objective right now is to get, get the, the levels that I need. But quartz definitely does not seem to spawn as frequently down here. There's another piece. Look at that. Boom. Thanks so much for that. It definitely, quartz, quartz doesn't seem to spawn as frequently. And another one uh, at this level. So I'm, I'm getting levels a little slower. And another one. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. Uh, so what am I at now? I'm at 13. So this is, th this is another one of those situations like yesterday where I kind of start to go, all right, I'm, I'm doing really well. I'm getting some good stuff and I don't want to run the risk of getting greedy and just continuing to go through and and grab stuff and then I hit a point where where like something really bad happens and then I lose it all cuz I tend to do that especially in Minecraft I tend to do that where I just kind of go oh my goodness this is going so well I'm just going to keep going and then a pocket of lava falls out of the ceiling and kills me 
or I'm walking around and I get too close to, I'm, I'm feeling all high and mighty, like I know what I'm doing, and then I walk too close to a ghast and, and he fireballs my face. So I just need to be careful that I don't do that. Uh, and that I don't end up losing all this stuff. Uh, and I am full once again. Uh, ooh, you know what? I can actually I can turn all this into blocks. I've almost got two stacks of quartz. What a day. What a day. What a, what a, what a couple of days, right? All the crazy stuff that I'm getting, I'm feeling, I'm feeling real good. All right, so since I'm at 13 ancient debris on me right now, uh, I ended up deciding to just kind of come up out of the, the super low areas because since I've got 13 on me, three at home, it means I've got enough for four ingots. So I can make four different netherite things right now with that. Uh, so I decided to come up in, in kind of be in a wider area because it's much, much easier to find quartz like this. And I'm kind of thinking that maybe that Enderman, my goodness, I'm kind of thinking that maybe it's not that, that quartz spawns less down there, but it's just that when you're in an area like this, it's all open and you can see everything. So it's easier to just run to it. So I, I think that's kind of more the case. So I just hit 30 levels. Uh, also I, I went ahead and made, you know what I'm going to do? right here and right now i'm just gonna go ahead and drink this because whenever they do that it uh it makes me very uncomfortable because i think that that they're mad at me uh yeah so i made all of the the gold stuff into gold ingots to save space can you sir just back up okay my goodness hate 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 those guys so so much not a fan uh, and, uh, and I, have just kind of been making whatever I can into, into blocks and into ingots and stuff to save space, like I was doing yesterday in the caves. And I think that I've actually gotten more gold faster in here than I even did in, uh, in, in the caves. Because of the fact that I'm, I mean, I'm getting a ton of gold nuggets and, uh, and then just turn it into ingots. So it's, it's not more than what I got in the caves, but I'm getting it faster so once again, I don't really need a lot of, of gold. It's not really that big of a deal right now because I've got so much that I'm not going to run out for, for glistering melon anytime soon. But why would I pass it up? I feel like I might as well continue to collect it. And, uh, and I'm trying to still get a little bit more in terms of levels just because then maybe I can enchant a couple of things and not just instantly be to instantly be at like 29. Uh, but the thing is, I don't know, that's something I'm gonna have to, to learn, all these different mechanics that I don't know. I'm gonna have to learn how many levels it actually takes when you enchant something. Ooh, you know what? While I'm standing by this lava, I'm gonna stand a little way away from it and not accidentally die and just kind of drop a few of these things. So I don't, yeah, I don't know how many levels it actually takes when you're, uh, when you enchant because when you utilize the when you utilize the 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 lapis it seems like it only takes what like th is it three levels because since you're using three lapis does it take three levels like if you're doing a, a level 30 enchant i would assume that, that that's how it works that's what it seems like when i've tested it so I'm guessing that's the case so i'd like to get to maybe like level 33 because then i can do two enchants uh, without having to, to go searching for more levels again. So I'm going to keep running around in this upper area for a couple of minutes. I'm going to continue to grab some quartz. Doing real well on quartz. I, it's kind of crazy thinking about the fact that just a few days ago, when I was running around in here looking for quartz and didn't have this pick, it was taking so, so long to grab the quartz that I needed. Because it was just it was one at a time. One at a time. And now it's like a few at a time. So it's kind of great. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna try to get to level 33, and I will be back. Whoa, so, okay, I was over out here in, like, an open area, and I decided to just dig towards my portal, because this should be the level I'm at, and I found ancient debris at this level. I had no idea that it could spawn way up here. So that's interesting. So I guess it's not... I would assume it, it mostly then spawns in the, the lower areas, like, that's where it's most abundant. But then apparently you can find it up here too. I did not realize that because this feels, I mean, I mean, this is like level 60. So that's pretty crazy. Uh, but I'm now at, uh, well, this vein should get me to level 35. So I'm in, in good shape. So that's why I'm digging my way back to the portal. I could just go find it. But then I started thinking that the more just, I feel like tunnels I have available to just sort of go through to get to other parts of the nether, 
the better. I mean, even though I, I right now, it's probably not going to be super useful because it's not like I have them labeled or anything. So I don't know where they're going to take me and it might just make me more lost. But I figured might as well just sort of dig over there for now. And I'm going to, I'm about to be full again. Look at all this quartz I have. This is absolutely tremendous. Uh, can you not, oh my gosh, can you not come back in my inventory, please? Thank you. So that's, uh, one, two, three, four, that's five stacks of quartz that I have right now, over five stacks. So I'm feeling, I'm still feeling good. Just like I've said, I'm still feeling good. The, the goodness of feeling continues. And, uh, I should be relatively close to my portal because I'm, I'm pretty sure, wait, actually, so I need to be going like almost kind of diagonally here. And I should not be looking at my cords while I'm doing this because the chances of lava just popping out are extremely high. And how much would that suck? That would be terrible. And with how fast the, the lava travels in the nether, it's crazy. Uh, it's, it's crazy like how easy it is to end up dying to it. And I'm, I'm still collecting this gold just so that I have it and because of the fact that it gives me levels. So... Uh, anyway, I'm gonna keep digging through here. I should be almost back to the portal right now and I will once I'm once I'm home, I'll be back. I am back home and oh my goodness I saw that I thought that was a player. Mr. Enderman here followed me home. Oh my goodness wait are they all I know that they can spawn up here but I feel like a bunch of these just came through the portal with me. That's three. Uh, I kind of would like to kill them because how many let me see how many ender pearls I have right now. It's not many. Yeah, I only have two ender pearls, and I feel like I should be getting them when I can because of the fact that that I'm gonna want to go to the end eventually. Uh, why am why why are blocks placing so quickly? Can you stop that? All right, where is this where is this guy? He's he's this guy right here. Hello, my friend. I'm gonna kill you quickly. Maybe get uh, a pearl out of you. I know that it's harder to do this during the day, as far as I know, because I mean, I, I don't, I can't remember if sunlight affects them or not. What is he doing? It seems like sunlight affects them. That's what I'm gathering here because what the heck is happening? Yeah, there he is. Come on, come on. Maybe this will be the only one that I do because I don't know that I want to continue to risk it with uh, 36 levels on me. So that's, that's my final count here is 36 levels after all of that. And this guy... He's not, I'm not happy with him right now, jumping around like this. Maybe I should just, where's my, is my water bucket on me? My water bucket is on me. Because this feels like maybe this was a bad decision. So, I think I'm just going to hit him with some water. Because what the heck is happening right now? Oh my goodness. Where did, what the? What happened to my water? Oh my goodness, this is not good. Why does this happen in the daytime? What the heck is happening? Oh my gosh. This is very annoying. Holy crap. And clearly my water has has decided to troll me and disappear. Oh my goodness. Got him. My goodness. Thank you. Okay, I need to... I'm going to use a potion right here right now. Because holy crap... That, that was scaring me with all these levels I got on me. I was going to be a pissed off panda if he would have killed me. Holy crap. All right. Well, let me put this in here. I'm going to get some water out of my handy dandy infinite spring. Thanks so much. Uh, so this is kind of my final count for all the stuff that I ended up with. I've, of course, got 36 levels and uh, and I ended up with all these. Whoa, what the how'd that end up in my hand? All these stacks of quartz. Ooh, and I actually I can make can make more quartz here with uh with the extra pieces that i got so i got one two three four five nearly six stacks of quartz and i think i already i already had a couple stacks in here well one stack okay Ooh, and actually i can make another another uh another block very nice so i'll have a good reserve on quartz now for building stuff which is awesome and let me actually just move these down here so we got once we combine all of these Let's see how many stacks in total we got. It's definitely, definitely a lot. Uh, okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six and a half plus this stuff. Uh, and then I've got one 
piece right here. So that is that is awesome. That is super, super good. Uh, and then also, let me turn all this into gold bars real fast. And then I want to get, I want to try enchanting some of this, this diamond stuff. So here's the thing, and you can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Um, and I've appreciated all the input that, that I get across some of these videos. I don't, I don't always get the chance to respond to the comments, but believe me, I see them. Uh, and, uh, and I appreciate the insight into things that I am doing wrong. So correct me if I'm wrong, but it seems like even though you can, you can trade with villagers, like trade with a librarian and get some really good stuff. You know, I should make these blocks uh, and you can get some really good stuff. It it seems like it's still worth it to, to do regular enchanting because clearly the enchantment. Ooh, did I mess this up? No. OK, we're good because clearly the enchantment that uh, I got on my. Uh, on my pick was really good and I got that from the regular enchantment table obviously the mending I had to get from from uh, a librarian but it seems like you can still get some really good stuff from regular enchanting and then maybe just add to it why is it doing that why is it picking stuff up as I enter the chest I feel like I'm lagging or something uh, so because of that I feel like it, it doesn't hurt to still enchant and then maybe just add stuff with books that I get from, from librarians. Uh, but I guess the, the only thing with that is I know that not all enchantments can be added together. Uh, I'm having a hard time since I'm thinking about this, I'm having a hard time doing what I need to do at the same time. Uh, I not, I know not all enchantments can be combined. Uh, so, oh yeah, I forgot I had all this cooking. So because of that, I know that that theory doesn't hold up for everything, but I feel like if I maybe do some enchanting on on like a shovel and maybe another sword or something, potentially I could get like a really good enchant and then I could just add to it uh, with something that I get from my, a librarian. What am I doing? I am falling apart here. Uh, so let me put this here. Uh, this is why I, I always sort my chests when I'm not recording because of the fact that I feel like I'm focused on sorting chests and oh yeah I switched this to netherrack because I have so much I'm focused on sorting chests and then I'm not focused on uh what I need to talk about or vice versa so hang on so let me switch this over to that and uh okay so I want to keep this this and this just that way I have them I guess I'll keep blocks on me it's always good to have blocks and then my miscellaneous chest over here, put that stuff in there, I guess. And it's nice since since these wandering traders keep showing up, they keep dropping uh, leads, which is nice. Oh yeah, I forgot that. I'm glad that I came over here and picked up picked up this guy's pail. I don't need that one grass block. So I have three pearls, cool. And I can get a bunch more, obviously, just going into the Nether and and killing them in the. The green forest, whatever that one is. I always remember the crimson forest, but I don't ever remember what the green one's called. Cool. How much XP does that give you? Not not that much. All right. So then what I need to do here is I'm going to grab out. See, it keeps doing that. It's grabbing the first the first thing in the chest, and I'm not sure why. I'm going to have to figure that out because that's going to piss me off if that continuously happens all the time. Uh, so that's 13. Let me let these last few cook up. And then I think... Is it ingots or is it, I don't know if it's ingots that you need. You know what? I don't think it's ingots. I think it's, uh, I think it's just nuggets that you need to turn these into, to actual netherite ingots. So let's give this a shot. So I think that you need like this and like this. No. Okay. Uh, or is it, wait, can I search it in here? Uh, so I want uh, netherite ingot. There you go. Right there. Oh, it is gold bars. Okay. All right. That's fine. I, I mean, I like that seems more reasonable because obviously netherite is super good. But for some reason, I just thought that I had been told that it was that it was just regular nuggets. Right, these last two are done. So boom. Let's make some let's make some netherite ingots. Why don't we? And actually, I'm just gonna do it like this. Boom. Four ingots, uh, and then I have one netherite scrap left over. Okay, so let's try this real fast. We'll see if this if this works, turning something into netherite, and then I'll I think that'll help me know if I'm gonna need a template.
and I'm assuming I'm going to need a template. That's that's what I'm understanding. Yeah, it looks like a template is necessary because you can't do it in a crafting bench, right? I don't think. No. So, yeah, so it looks like a template is going to be necessary for this, which really sucks. All the work that you go through to make this happen, and then you still you need a template to be able to make it happen. Because the only template that I have right now is where is it this thing for for armor rib armor trim yeah so that kind of stinks okay well at least i've got these so what i'm gonna do now i think is uh i'm going to like i said enchant a couple of things uh first thing i want to do is whoops first thing i want to do is the shovel so let's go with the shovel should i do the other sword right now i don't uh I don't know. I mean, the, the other sword is something that I'm really eager to three, really eager to have a good enchant on, but I don't know. So let's see. Unbreaking, unbreaking three, fortune three, efficiency four. That seems pretty good. That seems like a good shovel. And I can, I'll probably go and grab mending for that as well. So unbreaking three, I'm breaking three is awesome, but again, once mending's on there, it won't really matter. Fortune three, I don't know what all that'll affect. I guess maybe, maybe things like gravel getting flint. I don't know what else that would matter for. And then efficiency, that's, I mean, the efficiency's super nice. So let me see. So if I'm doing this, oh man, that is significantly faster. This is now like the machine gun, the, the machine gun shovel. So that is sweet. Wait, but the, okay, here's the thing though. So... Is mending useful on a shovel? What do you get? What do you get with a shovel that's going to have XP? I'm trying to think. I'm going to have to I'm going to have to think about that cuz I'm not sure. But regardless, this is super nice. And I mean, I could always just repair it. I mean, it's got I'm breaking 3 on it, but I still feel like I mean, look, the durability is already going down. So, it's still going to sort of plow through the durability when I'm flying through blocks like this is the only thing. Uh, and yeah, so my theory was right. So I, I was at 36 levels now I'm at 33 So that is how it works is however, I guess however many lapis you're using is how many levels it uses So that is super super nice. I'm very happy about that man. Look at how fast. Okay, this this compared to just utilizing an iron shovel to get done with this is insane and since I have my machine gun pick too. I'll be able to fly through this stone that's in here. Uh, so let's just finish this up real fast because this this will be the last this will be the last main hill that I wanted to get rid of. Uh, I of course I want to do some stuff with that hill because I don't like how close it is to the house and the fact that it's I mean it's partially in front of it. So that part at least is gonna have to go. But I've still been deciding: do I want to ultimately take that entire hill down, or do I just want to slope it? Like I've been talking about because part of it I'm thinking it might be beneficial to just to just slope it like sort of slope it down But I at least want this front portion pushed backwards because I want to be able to see The house from or I mean I always call it the house But it's it's really supposed to be like the town center where villagers and stuff are gonna be eventually But I want to be able to see the town center from any direction and since I want to put windows in the walls if I have that hill on the side, then like I'm not going to be able to see out of the window anyway. So, because of that, uh, I feel like it, it might end up being beneficial to just get rid of the entire hill rather than saying I'm just going to slope it. So I guess we'll see. I can always experiment with it and see what's ultimately gonna what's ultimately gonna look best. And I feel like I'm going to end up needing more chests available than e even though I've got so many chests sitting in there right now, I feel like I need to have more chest areas because of the fact that I don't like to throw things out. I would prefer to just even all this dirt that I'm getting, I would prefer to keep it because like, why would you just let it despawn? I feel like, so I think I need to add some chests and maybe, maybe I could do like a basement type area for that purpose. Uh, so let me finish this up just a little bit left here uh, Just another another level and then I'll do the stone and also I'm gonna put blocks down on all these Spot like grass down on all these blocks that I messed up because I want this to just be I want the landscaping to be nice and flush all the way across So I'll be back soon All right, the hill is totally gone and I filled in all the holes around here something else I'm gonna have to do too like I've mentioned is go through and mine out all of this stone and put 
put dirt down because it just it the landscaping doesn't look good when it's just smooth stone like this doesn't look nice so i'm gonna have to go through and do that also in this whole area i went through and pulled all the grass out that way it looks like that way it doesn't look like i don't mow my lawn uh because all this tall grass just looks like looks like i'm growing a forest over here everything's overgrown it doesn't look nice the neighbors are gonna get upset and uh and so i was researching stuff with mending on a shovel and here's the problem so because i'm playing on bedrock edition you can't put other things besides a shield in your offhand which really really sucks so i can't just hold the shovel in my offhand while getting xp unfortunately because it doesn't it doesn't work that way in bedrock edition from what i can tell unless i'm missing something so having mending on a shovel isn't I don't know. It's not going to work as well as I would like it to. There's always the option of of maybe doing something like holding a shovel in my hand while trading with villagers or maybe like killing mobs and then not picking up the XP until I have the shovel in my main hand. Like I could try stuff like that. But it just really stinks that you can't put it in your offhand like you can in in Java edition. I, so I, I don't I don't know if I'm missing something with that. So that's super unfortunate, and that's going to kind of cause problems with mending on this. But for the time being, I've at least got I'm breaking three on it, and uh, I can maybe worry about some of the other stuff later, I guess. Uh, so I ended up obviously with a ton of dirt, and like I said, I'm thinking about maybe making like a basementy area for extra chests because I don't really feel like. I mean, I guess I could add extra chests, maybe. I mean, maybe I could do a couple here, a couple here, but I just feel like it's there's not going to be a great place. Maybe, or I could do some in the middle here, I guess, and then like do the windows around them or something. Uh, I don't know, but there's also all this glass that is now done. And let me see, I need to clear my inventory, so give me uh, give me another second. So here's what I'm thinking, at least for the time being, in terms of extra space for chests. So I'm thinking I am going to use the back wall. Uh, this isn't perfect but as i was counting out all the numbers and stuff it's it's like in order to make this even i feel like this might be my best option doing it like this because the thing is if i go well let me you know what here's one thing i could try what if we did this so that'd be one two three four and then if we did well either way this is still going to make it where i kind of need to have one of these have this is just one just because of the size of the house is the problem uh but i could i guess do two like that see my my clicking is still something's still going on here it's kind of weird uh so that would give me the option to basically have so that'd be one block so if we did one block between everything we just have to have one single i guess but i don't i don't know if I like, I mean, I, a single is fine, I guess, because I, it's sort of the benefit of a single is that if there's stuff that I don't have a lot of, I could stick it in there. Let me make one more chest here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I make one more chest here and I guess just see how I feel about this. Just because I really am feeling like I need more space right now. Uh, considering the fact that I'm getting stuff like this and, and I would like to not really get rid of anything. But I, I do feel like I might hit a point where it's kind of like, maybe I do need a basement because maybe I'm not going to want this many chests all in this main house. But I'm still thinking I, I'm going to end up adding like a, a second floor, a basement, uh, extra rooms like that. Stuff like that is going to happen because I still need the space for, for villagers to be at. So I think, I think for the time being, at least this, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to kind of keep it like this. I think that that looks fine. Uh, and then I've got all this glass on me. I cooked up the last little bit and I was just using slabs that way. I didn't have to waste extra coal on just a little bit more glass. Uh, I also cooked up the, the little bit of copper that I got cause there were copper blocks out here when I, when I took all that down. Uh, so copper we've got over a stack of, not that I really care about copper. There's not really going to be much of a use for it. And I feel like I was cooking, was I cooking something else? I thought that I was, maybe not. Uh, I feel like, oh yeah, there. Okay, so there were there was iron cooking in here. That's a whole extra stack of iron. Uh, and I feel like probably periodically. Oh, and another stack there. I feel like periodically I should just check these because I'm sure that I probably have stuff cooking 
that I don't remember. Stack of gold there, okay. Yeah, I'm kind of vaguely remembering putting all this stuff in here yesterday and thinking, oh yeah, I'll check it tomorrow, and then clearly didn't. And I'm back to level 35 also. So, let's just, I'll just put that there. I want to, I guess I'll keep some gold bars here and there for when I'm making netherite ingots. And how much... Uh, I'll keep those seven, and then I'll turn the rest of these into blocks. All right, so now I want to go ahead and enchant, I think, another sword. Because like I've been saying, I feel like a sword is the main thing that... Man, look at all that. That's crazy. I feel like a sword is the main thing that I would like another version of right now. I, I still... I feel like an axe... I feel like enchanting the axe would be awesome. But I think that sword is is going to be the most useful at the moment how do you there we go okay so let's enchant this sword hopefully get something way better than before because what i got before really sucked uh let's put the oops one two three and put the oh, crap it's not what i'm trying to do one two and then keep the three up there okay so let's go with this crap what is with the what is with the smite stuff that's looting. I don't I don't want smite. Smite is is not at all something that I want. So maybe let's try what is this XP from? Maybe let's try the diamond axe. And I mean I guess I'll still have enough left after this to then try the, the sword again. Uh I'm breaking three. What? You've gotta be kidding me. You've gotta be kidding me. Holy crap. Unbreaking three smite. Smite 4, that is not at all what I wanted for that. Alright, well, super, super great, thanks so much for that. Let's try the, the sword again. And so again, this is what I'm saying, I don't know... I don't know if it's best to just always be getting enchants from the librarians rather than enchanting normal like this. Okay, looting, looting 3, knockback 2, that's not that bad. I guess along with that, I could combine something that I get from... Oh, wait, actually, let me just put this back in the armor stand's hand. Uh, I guess that, that with that, I could just get something combined with something that I get from, from a librarian, like fire aspect, because that's the main other thing I would want on there. Uh, and then, of course, I, I, I really should have mending on there, too. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know what the best way with all this is to... What, what, what the best thing is uh, in terms of approaching enchants. Let me go ahead and put all this up here. I've got a ton of glass now available for when I eventually start these walls. I keep not doing it. Oh, yeah, and then I've, I do have this chest here. This is still the stuff that I've got for when I am leaving the house. Uh, and you know what? Should I put... I guess I'm going to use my, my diamond axe for now. Even though, again, I don't really know what exactly to do in terms of repairing it if I put mending on it because this is what i read so i read that that mending works in your main hand your off hand and any armor slot so armor is going to be fine once i get mending on all my my diamond armor but it's not going to be super useful because of the fact that i can't put stuff in my off hand that's that's where it's going to get kind of tricky i feel like so ooh, that's that's pretty fast so i don't really know what to do about that uh, so I'll, I'll have to figure that stuff out. It's, it's whatever. Uh, and then I, I probably will want to maybe add some more enchants to this, this axe as, as, uh, as well. Uh, and also I can probably go ahead and pull all this stuff up real fast. So I wonder, maybe what I could test real fast is if I, if I take my, let's do this. If I take my sword, my pick and my axe out, and then, uh, oh yeah, and, and then kill the cows, let me go, hang on though, before I do that, I should go get my, my looting sword that I just made, get a whole bunch of beef from them, and then, but stand at a distance, and not pick up any of the XP, and then just keep my, my shovel in my hand, that should work, but that seems like more trouble than it's worth, there's gotta be a way easier way to do that, but I got a good about, good amount of nether wart here, and I should take all of this, most of this back and put it in the chest uh so i think yeah i think that that should work but i feel like there's there's probably an easier way to do it than that uh just like killing everything standing at a distance and then going and picking up all the xp 
Uh, so let me bring, I think, all the nether wart back. It seems kind of silly keeping it over here since I'm using it over there. Uh, I'll bring the melons back, and then I'm gonna leave this stuff in here. And then yeah, let's go get the let's go get the looting sword. I'm also curious with this looting sword, how much beef I can get just from killing the cows that are currently here. Cause I mean the pen is pretty much full right now, so this will be a good test. So sir, I would like to. Oops, I did not mean to give him that. Uh, but I'm gonna take that, take this. Thank you for that, and then I'll I'll put all this stuff away real fast. That way I've, yeah, because that's, that's a lot of, that's a good amount of nether wart. I'm, I'm doing pretty good with nether wart right now and definitely doing real good with melons. Uh, oh, why do I have these melons up here? I should have them down here. Yeah, so, oh, but that's right. That was another thing I need to do today is I've got to make more potions because I am not in good shape with potions right now. So I should probably do that. All right, so let's go, let's go kill the cows. Let's go boop the cows in the face. I can also, uh, you know, I'm just actually going to leave that right now all right so let me try to kill as many of these as possible and the problem is i've got to kind of stay away so that i don't pick up the xp is the problem uh and there's hang on what is what if i was standing on the edge like this okay and then once i run it so i'll wait to run in there until i put my shovel in my main hand oh see i'm picking up i'm picking up xp right now that's because of the way it Okay, hang on. Why did the... It looked like the durability went up on that. That's weird. Uh. Oh, oh wait, that's right. I don't even have... What am I talking about? I don't even have... I don't even have the mending on there right now anyway. I can't test it until I have actual mending on it. So that was dumb. I don't know what I'm thinking. I've got to put mending on there before mending will work. It's not It's not magic. Uh, but still, this is still a good test of, of this sword to see how much I can get. Uh, from the looting. And again, fire aspect on this would be super nice because then I I just get like cooked, cooked, looted beef instantly. Like how awesome would that be? Uh, oh, and it's nice that I haven't killed the cows in a while or even bred them in a while. So all of these are adults. So I can basically just go down to maybe like two or four adults and, uh, and then just start breeding again. This is this is amazing. I I love enchantments. I love all the things. This is this is awesome. I'm gonna have so much beef by the time this is all said and done. And that's another thing that I would like to I would like to eventually have like a double chest worth of cooked beef because then I can just always I can just always have beef available. Uh, and uh, and that's another reason why I feel like I need to always have a ton of chests. Okay, so what are we at? One two. Okay, you do not have a mate available, so you're going to die too. Cool, so that's four left. So, we ended up with two, over two stacks of raw beef and over one and a half stacks of leather. That's super nice. So, the looting is great. I just need to get mending on that and figure out the whole thing with mending on the shovel. See, okay, something is double clicking because if I just click once right now, it seems to like reopen it. That is, that's so weird. I'm not understanding that. All right. Uh, I will be back shortly. Uh, there's a couple more things that I want to, I want to do quickly today before we wrap up. And I also should breed these guys real fast. Just have them make a debebis and, uh, and get a, get a couple of small children available so that we've got more growing. Um, all right. So I will be back shortly. So these three mundane potions that I have, I know that there's probably a use for them, but all they're doing is confusing me because <laughs> they, the texture is exactly the same as just a regular, uh, like, uh, water bottle. So because of that, I'm just going to throw the mundane potions out, but I've got a whole bunch of water bottles here. I also went ahead and switched these into threes. That way I can just grab a stack of three when I, when I need it. And uh, I figured before I wrap up for today, I should probably brew some. Uh, so I've got some awkward potions and I do really like that the blaze seems to last quite a long time uh, in terms of, I really should probably count how many batches of three I can make before I run out of fuel. All right, so that'll cook up. And then I think that the last thing, I always forget since I don't do this frequently, the last thing I need is the redstone dust, right? Because I don't need, I think the the glowstone is what makes, or wait, no, no, no. No, the, the okay, yeah, the glowstone is what I need because I want it to be uh, twos. I want it to be potion of, of instant health too. 
Okay, and then I'll pop that in there. Okay, so while those are, are cooking, the last thing I think I want to do today is I'm going to, since I'm back at 30 levels after killing those cows, I'm going to go ahead and enchant this chess piece. Uh, and I need, let's see, three more lapis for me real fast. And I might be, seriously, I might be doing all this all wrong. Maybe there's better ways to do this. Uh, protection four. Okay, that's not that's not too bad. And I can probably also get some other stuff to to add to that. And I can definitely, like I said, uh, I can definitely 100% add uh, mending to the armor because the armor will automatically heal up when I when I get XP, which is super nice. Uh, also, these three should be ready to go. Sweet. So I think that's gonna do it for today. Uh, I also have all of the beef cooking up. Uh, lots and lots will, oh, not that one. Lots and lots will be available shortly. Oh, this stack is almost done. And so that means that this stack is probably almost done as well. That stack is done. And then this one's got to be done because this wasn't even a full stack. Boom. Look at all of the cooked beef that is available at my disposal. This is, this is incredible. Uh, so let's just stick a whole bunch in here because I don't I don't need all of it right now And actually I'm gonna move all this over because all this other stuff all this other crap is gonna have to make room for the MVP uh, The steak and I don't I don't even need that much Man look at that. That is so nice all that all that cooked beef and eventually it's gonna be a double chest of cooked beef amazing all right so that's gonna wrap us for today uh tomorrow we might do some stuff with uh getting some villagers over here because i feel like it's just gonna make my life easier if i go ahead and get that done and how cool is it that everything's so lit up that i can just hang out at night that was that was always my goal i don't even have to worry about it uh so that's gonna be it for today so if you enjoyed today's episode uh, i would highly appreciate it if you would leave a like maybe a comment and also hit subscribe so thanks for checking out today's video and i will talk to you tomorrow